Hey guys, it's Jen. I have a craft here that we're going to make today and it's called a yarn wrapped bug. Okay, so for this I'm going to use tape, scotch tape. You could use glue or hot glue if you want. Um, I have some different colored yarn cut up here. I have a circle that I cut in half and that's going to become the wings on my bug. I have four legs. They are cut out of paper, but you can use paper, you can use pipe cleaners, whatever you've got. I have a toilet paper roll that's going to be the body of our bug. And I have a couple of eyeballs that I made. Um, you can use googly eyes or you can use a little piece of paper and glue it on, whatever works best for you. So let's start with our yarn wrapping. So I'm going to take a piece of tape, just a little one and use it to stick one end of my yarn down to the bug, down onto the bug. So that wants to hang on there, you can see. Okay, so then I'm just gonna tightly, so I'm, you see how I'm holding the string pretty tight? Tightly wrap it up. I'm gonna go pretty fast for the sake of our video today. You do whatever is good for you. So I go back and forth, mix her up, and then I got to the end. So I'm gonna take another piece of tape, and just hold that end down, okay? So let's do some pink. Again, secure the end to the roll with a piece of tape or with glue, whatever you're using. And then I'll just mix up the pink in there too. So you use whatever colors you have of your yarn. It doesn't really matter. You can mix it up or you could just use one color if you like. Um, let me just grab a pair of scissors here. Alright, so I'm going to tape the end of that pink one down. Like so, just so that's on there nice and tight. And I'm just going to do the green color here. Just to mix it up a bit. So I'm going to secure the green. And then, like I said, just wrap it around doesn't have to be in any particular order unless you want it to be, that's completely up to you. So green all over, I'm gonna cut the end there. All right, secure that on, nice and tight. Okay, now let's put on the wings and the eyeballs before we put on the legs. So I think what I'd like to do is I've got my circle cut in half, so those are the wings. So we want them to crisscross at the top and then go across the back of our bug like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use tape. So I'm gonna fold the tape so that it's sticky on both sides, make a little loop. Put that on one edge of the piece that you want facing out and then just stick the other one right on top like that so there looks like wings okay now to secure this onto the back I'm gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna take another little loop of tape and this time I'm gonna put it on the back of the wings that are stuck together already okay so right there and I'm just gonna stick it right down on my bug Awesome. Okay, now for the legs, I just have them bent a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just try to gently slide it underneath my yarn. Okay, so it slid in there. It's a little bit crooked, that's okay. Let's get them all on. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm just gently sliding that underneath the yarn there. Okay. So two legs, and then we'll put two at the back. You can put more legs if your insect has more legs, you decide. Mine only has four today. So see, it's stuck up in, into there. And we've got two legs at the back, two legs at the front, and we got some wings. So that's looking awesome. Now to attach my eyeballs, or googly eyes, you can use tape, or you can use glue or whatever, I'm just going to use the tape again. So I'm going to roll that tape up so it's sticky on all sides. 
And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put two of those on the top of the wing. So one, and roll it up so it's all sticky. Two, and my eyeballs are gonna go right up on top of the wings here. So you can use googly eyes, you can use eyeballs. You can make your eyeballs out of paper, whatever. Okay, so here you go. Here is our yarn wrapped bug. Hope you guys enjoyed and I, I will um, see you again another time. Enjoy, bye.